Hello friends and welcome back to Real Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing this Hamilton Beach Custom Grinder and um, it's just called the Custom Grind 80393. Paid about 30 bucks for it at Walmart today and I'm not going to be using it to grind coffee because we have a new little buddy here, little friend here, doesn't have a name yet, we just call him buddy right now. Our parakeets had one baby and they decided not to take care of it. So. Right now we're taking care of it and we need this to grind up his food so we can be able to make him a nice formula because i don't like the formula that they're selling at the store anyhow hamilton beach custom grind we're going to take it out of the box we're going to show you what we have in there we're going to try it out to grind i guess we'll grind this food right here this food is pretty hard so right now we're soaking it crushing it and um it's just it's just really tough so i'm hopefully this grinder is going to do the job and be able to grind that food up really nice. So hang on just a second, and we're gonna get this thing out of the box and grind some food up and see what happens. All right, guys, so we're gonna go and open up the box, see what we have here. Got some warnings, what are these warnings? Enter to win $100 on the website, interesting, okay. So one thing that people said about this, um, this custom grinder online is that the top is really, really cheap and it tends to break. So anyhow, here's the manual for it. Put that off to the side and here we go. So it's pretty nice. I mean, so far it looks pretty cool. Shove all of this mess back in here. So there you go. Here is the actual unit. It looks pretty nice. It comes with a little brush. Has a pull base down to access cord. Pull it down. Oh, look at that. The cord is inside the base. So you can wrap it around and hide it. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. And here has the on off. It looks like a, it's a push button. And then you have course. Actually, it feels like a lot more settings than just three, but it feels like you got at least four settings here. And then you also have the amount of cups, I guess, that you're doing. I don't really know. What that does is that like raise the blade or something it doesn't seem to do anything so i'm not really sure if this is useful or not i mean we'll just like leave it in the middle somewhere and in this one we're definitely going to be doing fine because we want to get this down to powder so we'll go ahead and pull off these stickers and supposedly let's see how you have to take this off let's not break it right away here Align arrows with the lock. Okay, so you have unlocked right here, supposedly, and it's off. An arrow, and then you. Hmm. Locking seems a little bit difficult. Let's see, this is kind of. I mean, I guess they're kind of right about this top. It's like really plasticky and cheap. Um, this is definitely going to end up breaking, I'm sure. Ouch. And, a, and you can pinch your finger. Ugh. You ain't locking that. Let me pick it up and try. <laughs> yeah. You better be like a like an athlete with like some, oh, I don't know, 50-inch biceps or something because this is not locking. It says align with the arrow and twist the lock. Okay, it's the align what with the arrow? Align arrow. Okay, align arrow with unlock. <laughs> Jeez, no, that's not that's not going nowhere. That's super cheap. I hate to say it, guys. Hopefully this thing even works once. For 30 bucks, this top is horrible. Let's just take it apart, see what else we got. Supposedly this comes out. There we go. So that comes out, so you can supposedly wash it. A little, a little wobbly. Yeah. A little wobbly and kind of cheap. I know, I'm gonna have to wash this out before we can try it. And then inside of here, you got like a little, uh, I don't know, little spinny thing. So overall, I mean, honestly, overall so far, I am not pleased. I'm not pleased with the quality of it. But um, let me um, let me mess with this thing. Actually, the fix the first thing we should probably do is rinse it, or at least wipe it out with a paper towel. Let's do that. Make sure nothing weirds in here. And the cup's removable, but the blade is not removable. 
which would be nice if the blades were movable too. Probably makes sense so you can clean it. Because obviously you can't really get to the bottom of it. You kind of wipe the top a little bit. But I mean, if you're like, you're, you're grinding up like, you know, chili peppers or something. And then you want to make coffee. You got like a chili pepper stuck under. And look at this. This is disgusting. Wow. Right out of the <laughs> What is that? You definitely got to wash this thing with like soap and water for sure. And how do you get under the blade, you know? Like I was saying, man, if you're grinding up some chili peppers and then next day, next day you're going to make some coffee and you got chili peppers stuck in here. There's really no way you're going to clean this because how are you going to get under the blade? There's no, there's no way to get under the blade. So I recommend definitely you want to get one. You can take the blade off to clean it. How do you, how do you clean the bottom of it? And there's that much stuff on the top of it. Gross. What's under here? There's just no way to get under there. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to rinse this though. There's no way to hang around. Let's try not to cut our fingers, okay? I don't want to have to do a review at the emergency room. What a lovely emergency room here. What happened to you today? I was doing a video of this uh, grinder thing that kind of was crappy from Walmart. And uh, now I'm here. Yeah, that's what happened. Let's not do that. All right, let's just rinse the outside. All right. That should do. And we'll just go ahead and get the soap out. Ooh, look at that. It's like a bubble bath. So, cleaned it out about as good as we can, and we're going to put this thing back in here and see what's up. So, it has a, a coffee max, has a lock thing and an unlock thing. So, I guess you just put this in here, and then this is lock. But that locks in just fine. You know, it'd be nice if this was a better material, but I don't see, I just don't see, um, I don't know, any better way to do this. So, align with the thing. You're aligning it. That's aligned. You're not getting any more aligned than that. Is that supposed to be locked? Is that really supposed to be locked? That's not lined up with lock. Really? Hmm. This doesn't seem like it's going in far enough. I don't know about that. I guess that's about as far as it's going to go. We're not. Let's not break it. Let's try it, and then we'll break it. Okay. So the core comes out, back up. Boom. Nice little brush over here that press. Oh, oh press. Okay. Kind of falls out. Goes flying. Maybe little brush. All right. And just kind of sticks in there. Go ahead and plug this in. Plug's a little weird because it was like wrapped up the way that it was. It's a little strange. Gross. All right. So let's go ahead and open this up again. Take a couple scoops of this. So let's see what it says. Uh, spices, spices max, max, max epeses. What does that mean? The pest was like fish. I don't know what language that is. All right, let's do max level. Max level. Okay, so this is coffee max, and it's spices max it has like a max for spices and a max for coffee. Let's put a little bit more. Let's see what this thing could do. Let's see what this bad boy could do. Should we just throw it all in there? Yeah? Yeah? Is, I mean, is this a spice? What is this considered? This is like a... I don't know. We need to, we need, really need to test this, this out. We have to put everything in this bag. So we should just toss it all in, right? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, it's all in. All in, guys. There we go. So, it's like above the spices line, but it's like, I don't know. It's it's somewhere. 
Anyhow, let's go ahead and put this cover back on. And the lock is, of course, on the back. So you got to, like, flip it around and see where the lock is. That's totally makes sense. I guess that's about as lock as it's getting. All right, so we'll just say we're doing a maximum. Who knows? We're doing it on fine. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It has to be locked in more, I guess. Or my plug's not working. What, what is the problem here? This this can't tell if it's locked or not, I'm pretty sure. This is no sensor on here or anything. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it finally locked, but that's like, I don't know. All right, so I'm fine. Hmm. Oh, look over top here. Get over, get in there. Good. Wow, it looks like it's chopping it up pretty good. Surprisingly good. Put the light on. Can you see? Oh, you can see it good enough. Not bad, honestly. I mean, so chopping wise, um, I'm kind of impressed. And it's pretty quiet too. I thought it was louder. So you like leave it on forever? Does it stop by itself? I don't know. See how you put it on medium? Nothing. Okay, it stops by itself. Wow, it turns it into powder. It works, guys. I mean, it definitely works. Look at that. I mean, from these, these things, these pellets, and these are hard. These pellets are hard. Uh, oops. Can't even break those pellets. And it turned it into powder. Let's go ahead. Get that down here. Let's unlock it. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. You need like a, I don't even know. Eat your spinach. Oh my gosh. Really? That's, that's just crazy. I mean, that experience is just a little much to try to get this thing out. But I mean, uh, the overall, let's see which way is unlocked. There we go. Look at that. That is powder. That is powder. I'm going to put it in the bag. You can see. It's powder. It's just, I mean, very, very fine powder. It really, really worked good. I mean, it's amazing. So as you can see, a lot of it got stuck around the bottom here. I guess that's what the brush is for. Let's take a look at the powder. Though. Look at that. I mean, that is powder. That is awesome. No joke. I mean, I tried crushing this thing in, in, the, in the thing over here. I tried this stupid thing and tried crushing it and I sat there for a long time and it didn't work out. We tried soaking it and it just goes like this, but it still just doesn't work right. And um, now we have a brand new way, powder with our nice little scooper ready to go. I mean, this is the consistency of what comes in the, the bag of the formula. Like we have this uh, formula here, this exact formula, and that's really the consistency with this. I mean, we ground it down to that easily. The thing I don't like about this one is the coloring. It add coloring and stuff to it. So I really like this one. That's a, that's another video that I probably will never do. Anyhow, I mean, what? This? This is what we just ground up. Harrison's bird food. This is really good bird food. This is good for the birds. They always tend to um be very healthy eating this food. Never had problems so far. Um, anyhow, we're not gonna talk about bird food today, but the grinder, it works good. So this is the Hamilton Beach Custom Grind 80393, 30 bucks at Walmart, and they also have it on Amazon. I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description. And um, I don't know. I mean, you guys could decide if you want to get it or not. The top, getting it on is crazy. On and off is crazy. But the grinding quality it really, really works. Do other grinders work as good? I don't know. It's the first grinder I ever had. Anyhow, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you never miss out on another video on Real Reviews. See you guys next time. Soon after. There he is. Our little buddy. He's ready. He knows the food is coming. Yeah, he's he's only six days old today. Today he just turned six days old a couple of hours ago. 
since he hats. He can't really pick up his head yet. But he's still a little tough guy or girl. It's a tough little parakeet, put it that way. So anyhow, we got to mix the food, make the food, and then feed our little buddy here. See if he likes it. That's about good enough. She's about the thickness for him right now. When he's smaller, you want it to be much more watery, but I'll put a tiny little bit more water in there. There we go. I think that's good. Now we take the little thermometer, check the temperature. It needs to be about 105 degrees for him. Eat him. There you go, he likes it. Ooh, he is hungry. And that's it, it worked. Here you have it. Little Birdie loves it. He loves the new Hamilton Beach coffee grinder, so I guess it's a keeper. And also, after I took the top on and off and you know locked it and unlocked it, it seems to be working a little bit better. There's a little trial and error, I guess. <laughs> nice. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.